In today's video, we retrofit our 612C John Deere Cornhead with 712C John Deere Cornhead parts. At the very end, I'll explain our costs and reasoning. Let's get started. Well, they call it the corn cob opener. <laughs> if, you, if you buy a $16,000 pallet worth of parts, you get a, I they had a to, hat and a sign. We had to pay for a bigger shipping container so we could get their sign and their hat. <laughs> Okay, so today we took everything off the car corn head. Not everything, we can still take, still take the plates and the sprockets off. But we got a whole new set of plates right here. This is the rollers. Um, yeah. So what was the reason for going with Calmers rather than deer? I just talked to some neighbors, they like them. And I haven't liked the deer rollers for 20 years, so we're gonna try something different. Cool. There we be. Okay, well, we still got all the rollers in the box except for one row, which is currently test fitting on. We got the plates and the chain guides all laid out. Uh, we're still waiting for the chains. And are we getting new sprockets or are we reusing the old sprockets? Are we reusing the old chain sprockets? They're coming off too, okay. So we're still waiting for some stuff. Um, I gotta head out. I gotta go to a, I don't have to go to it, but I'm gonna go to our local corn growers golf outing. So hopefully, Dad uh, test fits, figures out what we need to do, and then tomorrow morning we can come and tackle it before it gets 110 degrees outside. Well, we're back out the next day. It's really early in the morning. It's like, not really early, I guess it's eight o'clock now, but um, it's supposed to get up to 110 degrees today. So hopefully we'll get partway through this this morning before it gets super hot, and then we can go and stay in the air conditioning all day. But, Looks like we got another box. I'm guessing it's chains. I'm not for sure. Are these chains? Yeah. Sweet, we got the chains in. Okay, that was a voice crack. Discard V-ring seal A. Install supplied V-ring seal. So here's the problem we're running into. All these shafts, there's a seal, and there's a metal ring on top. It's probably really hard for you guys to see, but uh, basically, it's hard to talk when uh, you're dropping everything over there. Uh, <laughs> so basically, there's this ring. There's metal seal on top. Uh, the new kit came from new ring, but not a new metal seal. And uh, it's very unclear whether you put the metal seal back on or not. We're pretty sure you do. But when you take it off, it's so dang hard to take off, you destroy the metal ring, and we don't have any new metal rings with the kit. So um, we're just kind of trying to work our way around it right now. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah.
The birds have just begun We will always take a step It's probably up to 100 degrees now or more. And uh, we finished the chains, the plates, the uh, gears, sprockets, the plastic guides, chain guides, um, on all the rows, so that's all done. We have the rollers on some of the rows, not all of them. Uh, they still need to be put on. That's why I got to went home and grab my torque wrench. So I got to put some lock thread on, tighten those up. Uh, we had to replace a seal on one of those rollers. Dad is switching the blades around, so that way we have short blades this year. And uh, in a matter of probably an hour and a half, we'll be ready to go for fall. Maybe? Maybe. If we are, I mean, it's the earliest we've ever gotten this done. So, okay. The best thing about these Calmers knife rolls is that in the box, they send you everything you need to install it. Let's go. Okay, so um, some of you guys may be wondering why in heck we're rebuilding a corn head when we could just trade it in. So um, we're guesstimating that if we were to trade in our 612C for a 712C, which is a new series, probably would have been around 70 grand. Okay, yeah, 70 zero comma zero zero zero. Um, to rebuild it, uh, the rolls, the calmer rolls, were about 16 grand for 12 rolls worth of rolls. 12 rows worth of rolls. Say that 10 times fast. 12 rolls worth of whir, roll. 12 rows worth of rolls. 12 rows worth of whir, whir, rolls. I just created a new tongue twister. Anyways, so that was about 16 grand right there. Um, and then the bill from John Deere says everything on top. So the plates, the chains, and the guides, and everything, which I guess I'll just redo it here. Um, chain kit, uh, $4,700. Guide kit, almost 1000 Plate, the plate kit, uh, $750. Spacers, $37. Seal, $27. Another seal, $34. Pulley, $262. So, if you do some uh, rough rounding on the numbers here, that's about $23,000 total to rebuild our corn head. Now, you might be thinking, well, you know, the 700 series is maybe better, but uh, the kit that we put on was actually a 700 series kit. So we basically just retrofitted our 600 series to become a 700 series. So is the 700 series better? Probably not because this is basically 700, 700 series now. So yeah, so that's the, that's the reasoning behind that. And even if we did trade for a new corn head, we'd have to be doing this in three years anyways, because we go through enough acres that in three years, all of our wear parts are pretty much toast. Well, our shed might not be as clean as other YouTuber sheds, but when you do your own work rather than taking it to the dealer, this is what happens. But we finished the corn head basically. Um, everything's on on top, everything's tensioned. I got the rolls on and tightened. And the only thing that needs to be done is the, uh, the shields need to be put on, but that should be fairly easy compared to everything else we did. So, so we're gonna call it for here, for. We're gonna call it here for today. There we go, because it's uh, 
100 degrees and uh, five o'clock on a Saturday. So I wanna go home, do some stuff there. So uh, if you liked the video, hit that like button, get subscribed. Um, hit this button if you wanna watch uh, us tearing apart the corn head and hit this button to subscribe. See you in the next one.